All right, Kevin here with MyATVs.com. Today what we're going to show you is the assembly of the Taltal ATM50A. Um, we've already got it uncrated. You can watch one of our uncrating videos if you need help with that. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our battery out from under the seat or under the floorboard. Just throw that on your trickle charger, get that ready to go. Alright. Now, all of our tool, all of our bolts and everything are underneath of the seat. I've already got all those out to separate it. That's the first thing you want to do. Once you have those all separated, you're going to grab your kickstand. Which is right here, that's underneath of the seat. I've got mine on a jack stand here, and I have the rear center stand down. Uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and put this on. If it's in the down position, we're going to set it on just like this so this foot pad is facing upward. So what we need to do is put a little bit of Loctite. Make sure you guys use Loctite. If you don't have to go grab a bottle, you want to Loctite this stuff into place so it doesn't come off. I'm going to start my first bolt. A little bit of Loctite on the second one. It's a 12 and a 13 millimeter wrench for these. Finger pin and nail. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm using a ratchet, but you can use Nice and tight. Alright, so our foot stands off. The next thing we'll do is we're going to put the front steering column on. In your little bag of bolts that you got underneath the seat. We're going to grab the real thick bolt, the nut for the bolt. And there's a washer in here that has a little U-shape to it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a little U-shape to it. That's what we're going to use also. And if you want to come in here a little tighter, just walk around here so we can show them the front. <clears throat> now your front end, what you want to do is carefully take this, this front end piece here and set it on this shaft right here. Just make sure when you do it you're not pinching wires up. So just make sure it goes around the front end and it'll set right on there and you're going to have to give it a little bit of pressure to get it up and down on there now if you look in here you can see where that bolt's going to go and that little oval shaped piece is where this washer is going to set in there so it's going to set in there like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my washer on my bolt slide it on and get it ready just make sure that you this face towards the uh, front end of the bike. I'll put a little Loctite on. And we're going to use a 13 and a 14 millimeter wrench for these. I'm going to take this bolt and I'm going to slide it right through here. Just make sure it's lined up. You have to lift up a little bit to get it to go through the back hole. Walk past me. Gotta play with it a little bit to wiggle it in there. And I made sure my U is lined up in there. Take my back washer. I'm gonna turn the wheel for this so I can get to it easier on the back. And I'm gonna end up setting it right on the back there.
go ahead and attach this. As you get closer to tighten it down, double check that center wash to make sure it's in the right place. Okay, we've got that off. Just want to double check as you put it in, if you can get in here, Dave, and show them this center piece here. Just make sure that's setting in that U-shaped thing and your front steering column's on. So that's done. Next thing we'll do, we're going to put on our front cow. Your front cow's going to go right on the front of this machine. These are actually not too bad to put on. In my little baggie that we got from Tao Tao, I'm going to grab out four of the little tiny screws. And they're pointed to go into the plastic. And then my one flat screw with a flat end, it's got a little rubber wash on it. So I need the four small screws and the one big screw. No reason to Loctite these down. I'm going to take my front hood and carefully line it up with these holes. And then I'm going to start my center bolt. I'm not going to tighten this down yet, but I am going to start it. So I've started that. Then you come to the inside here. And there's four screw positions right here. Two on this side, two on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And you're going to have to put a little bit of pressure on this to hold them pull it together so you can start your screws. You can go ahead and snug these down. They don't have to be real tight, but just snug them down good. Got that side done. All right, now we're gonna put on two screws on this side. Put a little pressure on it so it's lined up nice and neat. Okay, so once those are Tighten up, you want to come back to the front and just double check that your seam around here is good. You don't have any gaps in it. And if you tighten all four of those up, it should be good to go. Then you just go ahead and tighten this down. 